this might be the best buffet I've seen so far. Las Vegas is a city known for its buffets. I heard the win has one of the best. Today, we're gonna dive headfirst into the Seafood Spectacular to see if the hefty price tag is actually worth the money. I'm super excited, let's get started. like a roundhouse kick to the face. That was a bad idea. That is spicy. We eat as many things as possible. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but the flavor is maximum. The tri-tip looks great. Look at this thing. Wow. Yeah, the meat master. You know what I mean? Who doesn't love a meat master? I'm not really a huge fan of that. I probably would not get that if I came back. Holy <laughs> That was a bad idea. All right, you guys, we got an excellent table over in the back corner. The buffet is called the Seafood Spectacular. I gotta say, first impressions, this place is beautiful, but we're here for the food. Let's see what they got. We're gonna start left to right, and I'm gonna show you every option they have here available at the Wynn Buffet. They got the crab legs, lobster claws, and split crab legs. They got the cocktail shrimp next. Of course, the cocktail sauce and lemon. They got salty sea shuck oysters, Dungeness crab and sauce mignonette, hamachi sushini. They got an excellent sushi station. They got a pickled ginger wasabi, nigori, beautiful shrimp and rice. They have an entire station dedicated to pokey. Just a whole pokey bowl station. They got kind of an Asian section right here. They got all these delicious looking dumplings and pot stickers. Fried rice, of course. Thai chili chicken wings and all the chili sauce you could ever want. They have a customized ramen station. You can have all your ramen made fresh. One of my favorites, honey walnut prawns, Kung Pao chicken, vegetable pot stickers, and some vegetarian spring rolls. They also have a custom taco station. You can have fresh made street tacos. They got the garlic infused prime rib, onions and a nice spread and the barbecue beef brisket. Over here, beef tri-tip, grilled peppers and chicken apple sausage. Oh my God, you guys, it looks incredible. They got a whole assortment of amazing dipping sauces just in case you needed to add some more flavor. Polish sausage, bok choy, assorted vegetables, and veal rib roast. Wow. They got a herb roasted chicken, more assorted vegetables, rotisserie chicken, and a banana barbecue chicken. I've never even seen a banana barbecue chicken. Grilled pineapple, pepper bacon, char siu baby back ribs, chicho rones, and char siu sauce with every single spread you could imagine. Roasted root vegetables, truffle pork belly grits, grilled asparagus, voodoo shrimp cornbread, truffle potatoes of rotten, assorted bread section if you feel like stacking up on the carbs. Assorted potatoes and sausage, beef short rib, barbecue chicken, truffle mac and cheese, and a Borison mashed potato. 
They got a whole section for the crab boil. Woo, looks like we're straight out of the Louisiana swamps, baby. Let's go. You got crab, tons of seasoning, corn on the cob. This thing looks amazing. I don't know what that is, but it sure does look pretty. All right, next up, we got a lote street corn. It looks like that's out. Black bean charro. We got a fresh carnitas. Pollo asada. Excellent looking beef empanadas. A dish called suckling pig. Buffalo cauliflower for the vegetarians. Chicken enchiladas. Pork tamales and bean and cheese pupusas. I need a little pupusa in my life. And no buffet would be complete without, of course, some pizza. I like how they cut it in tiny slices so you don't have to overdo it. For buffet pizza, it looks pretty good. We got seafood arachnicini, stuffed sole fillets, the highly anticipated and much loved hot snow crab legs, fresh lemon, and clarified butter. They got baked cod and a cod fish with vegetables. Next up, they got one of the best cheese stations I've ever seen. Romano, black lemon gouda, drunken goat, tons of dips, honey, apple butter, pear butter, tomato, cinnalaguine, and basil skewers. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We're gonna run with it. Fresh mozzarella with the oil, a wonderful spread of charcuterie selections, dips, peppers, and sliced deli meats. They got a whole spread of soups, organic vegetable soup, clam chowder, tomato bisque, and some homemade chicken noodle soup. They got a fresh juice station right here. When you're shoving your face full of food, who doesn't need some fresh juice? Guava pineapple, ube coconut, and mango. They got a nice spread of fruit, everything you could ever imagine. They have a little caviar bar here. Excellent little caviar dishes. Look at these cute little cones. Beautiful. And just in case you wanted to pay for a very expensive salad, they have the salad station. Now it's time to check out all these amazing desserts. I mean, the dessert station is absolutely nuts. Cupcakes, berry crostata, carrot cake, pistachio raspberry cake. They got flourless cake, carrot cake, cookies and cream. Fresh little churros. We got some stuffed churros right there. Oh yeah. They got the whole spread, ice cream, gelato, and sorbets. Whatever tickles your fancy, the wind's got you. On the other side of the dessert station, a lot of buffets will actually just mimic the other side not the win. Every selection is completely different than the opposite side. They got marble cake, cheesecake, no sugar added, tiramisu, my boy stacking up the lemon tarts with the fresh blackberry right now, raspberry citrus cones, strawberry shortcake, mint chocolate cup, vegan chocolate cake, strawberry shortcake, vegan tapioca pudding, little tiny creme brulees, triple chocolate mousse cake, pandan cheesecake, coconut whip ganache, I'm gonna need that, berry cheesecake. They got a lovely spread of tarts, cookies, and tiny little wen donuts. Seasonal cobbler and bread pudding. They have an entire crepe section made to order incredible first impression of the spread of food this place is massive and they have so many different options it's honestly overwhelming this might be the best buffet i've seen so far we're gonna dive into the food i'm gonna eat as many things as possible i have no idea if i'm gonna be able to sample everything but we're sure as hell gonna give it a try let's get started
for drinks, they have a whole section of drinks that are completely free with the meal. I started with a coffee, water, and for some reason, I was really feeling some chocolate milk. Wow, extra chocolatey. I haven't had chocolate milk in a long time. Delicious. All right, you guys, it's time to dive into all this amazing looking food. Okay, so for the first plate, we started in the chilled seafood and sushi section. We have shrimp cocktail, we have split cold snow crab legs, lobster claw, I can't remember what that's called, and two different kinds of sushi. All right, let's start off with some shrimp cocktail. Standard at every buffet. Mmm. These shrimp are huge, excellent flavor, very fresh, and the cocktail sauce is on point. Great shrimp cocktail. Okay, next up, chilled split snow crab legs. Okay, I love that they're split. Meat comes out super easy. We're gonna hit it with just a tiny bit of the clarified butter. Snow crab is excellent, wonderful flavor, super fresh, and that butter really sets it off. Okay, we got the butterfly shrimp and rice right here. I'm gonna hit it with a little cocktail. The flavor's pretty bland overall. It definitely needs a little dipping sauce, like a soy or a yuzu. Overall though, it's pretty good. The shrimp, fresh. All right, next up, Let's dive into this sushi. This is a spicy tuna roll. It looks delicious, and I love how the portions are really small. It gives you the opportunity to try a lot more items because there is a ton of different dishes here. Not a huge fan of sushi, but we're still gonna jump into it. I'm ready for some spice. Oh yeah, wow. Very mild fish flavor. You can definitely taste the cucumber. It does have a nice heat to it. Overall, I would say this is a fantastic sushi and that's coming from someone that does not love sushi. Okay, while we're diving into raw fish, <laughs> okay. let's get into this other roll. I can't remember what it's called, but it looks pretty good. Don't smell it first. Okay, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna tuck it down, okay? For you guys, for the sushi lovers out there. That piece definitely looked a lot more sushi-ish, but actually it tasted a bit better than the first one. For someone who doesn't enjoy sushi, those were absolutely amazing. And if you like sushi, I think you'd enjoy those. All right, let's dive in to this cold lobster claw. This thing is huge. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, they split it all the way down. Some people like their seafood chilled. Me personally, I like my seafood warm. Mmm. Nice lobster flavor. Pretty mild, I would say. Huge piece of lobster. Okay, crab claw. This thing is massive. Yep, lobster claw. This thing is massive. I'm gonna hit it in a little bit of butter. Wow, excellent lobster flavor. Succulent, nice and chilled, 
I feel like when it's chilled, it has a much more mild flavor. And because I love seafood so much, I don't mind if you kick up the heat a bit. Those are really good, super meaty. And I can't believe it's endless. You could eat a hundred of these if you wanted to. Amazing. Oh, damn. All right, that's everything in the chilled seafood section along with the sushi. And we're gonna keep moving down. I think next up is the Asian section. Chicken pot sticker, leek cake. All right, you guys, next up is the Asian section. I decided to skip the poke bowl section because I've had enough raw food for the day. The Asian section looks amazing. They got a huge spread of different dishes and I got a little bit of almost every single thing that they offer. Okay, so we got the pork pot sticker, leek cake. They have a cha shu pork fried rice. This is the Kung Pao chicken, vegetable egg roll, Sweet Thai chili chicken. Sweet Thai chili chicken leg. Damn it. Sweet Thai chili chicken wing. And one of my favorite dishes of all time, honey walnut shrimp. I put a little bit of sweet glaze on here. And of course we got the chili paste. All right, first up, let's get into this uh, pork pot sticker. Mmm. Great flavor. I put some of that sweet Thai chili sauce on there. Delicious. Let's hit it in some of this chili paste. Spice it up a bit. That's how you do that. Wow. As far as a pot sticker goes, excellent. Super fresh, hasn't been sitting out very long. Wonderful flavor. Let's move on to this leek cake. I don't think I've ever had a leek cake before. It looks incredible. I put some sweet Thai chili sauce on there too. And we're not gonna mess around this time. We're just gonna dive right into that chili sauce because it's time to pump up the heat. Okay, we're going in. Mm. That was a big bite. The wrapper on the leek cake was a bit more chewy than the pot sticker. Wonderful flavor. I think it had been sitting out a little bit long. People might be skipping those and getting the dumplings instead, but I love the leek cake. It has a great flavor to it. Let's dive into the chashu fried rice. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, look at this huge piece of chashu. Very dominant pork flavor. The rice is excellent. The chashu was a little bit dry. Nothing too bad. It's definitely doable. But as far as a buffet fried rice, it's pretty good. All right, next up, Kung Pao chicken. Ooh, it smells excellent. Ooh, spicy. Mmm. This thing will hit you in the face like a ninja kick. I mean, you can Kung Pao my face off. Oh, wow, that is spicy. Woo! The Kung Pao chicken is excellent. The chicken is super tender, packed full of flavor, and on a spice level, it's like a seven out of 10. This thing is packing a punch. All right, I'm gonna hit it in some chili paste. Let's really step up that heat. Take it from a seven out of 10 to a nine out of 10. Mmm, that was a bad idea. That is spicy. Wow, it's like a roundhouse kick to the face. Kung Pao chicken, 10 out of 10, especially for a buffet, delicious. All right, vegetable egg roll, nothing special. Let's dive in. A little bit of chili paste. I'm not a huge fan of these anyway, but it's pretty basic. It's a vegetable egg roll. Unless you're just dunking this thing in massive amounts of sauce, it's pretty basic. And with all the amazing food here so far, I'd avoid these. Next up, Thai chili, sweet Thai chili chicken wing. I think that's what it's called. I can't really remember. Okay, hefty, delicious, 
vegetable fragments. Okay. Wow. As far as chicken wings go, these things are amazing. A little crispy on the outside, super juicy and tender on the inside. And that seasoning, that sweet chili, that sweet Thai chili glaze or sauce, whatever it is, it's amazing, wonderful flavor. I highly recommend these. If you love chicken wings, you can eat about 30 of these. Last on this plate, but certainly not least, one of my favorite Asian items of all time, honey walnut shrimp. They look good. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm. Just go ahead and get me a whole plate of those shrimp. Honey, walnut, my face up. Wow. Holy shit, bro. Great shrimp flavor. Sweet, but not too sweet. And one of the things that I love about honey walnut, and they can mess it up a lot, is when they hit it with that sauce, it can really soften up the breading. These are still extra crispy. Wonderful shrimp flavor. I mean, as far as honey walnut go, these are a slam dunk. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna lick this clean plate. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I don't even know what I just said. All right, you guys, I'm gonna lick this plate clean and then we're gonna move on to the next section and keep this party going. Coffee's delicious. All right, from the fresh made stations, I got a lovely tonkatsu ramen made to order and one of their awesome looking street tacos. You got three options for meat, chicken, pork, or beef. I got the carne asada topped with everything and decided to go with the tomatillo sauce. They look really good. Okay, let's dive into the ramen first. We got a pork ramen. All right, let me try the broth. Ramen is all about the broth. Okay. Really good pork broth. That cilantro really dominates and it goes excellent with the broth flavor. Let's try this piece of pork. Wow, that pork has a great flavor and it's softer than butter. I could eat like 10 of these things. All right, let's try the noodles. Noodles are great. Everything has a wonderful flavor. The cilantro definitely dominates the dish. Because it's fresh made, I don't think the pork or the noodles really have a time to absorb that broth flavor and the jalapeno doesn't work its way through. So maybe if you get the ramen, let it sit for about five minutes and marinate so you can bump up that flavor a little bit. But overall, eight out of 10, very delicious. Let's get into the street taco. This thing is hefty, holy. Wow. I told him not to make it too big because I'm already getting full. There is so much more food to try. I honestly don't know where I'm going to put it. This thing is hefty. That's a massive street taco. Imagine they were like this on the street. Okay. As far as a street taco goes, it's pretty good. The carne asada is not as flavorful as what I'm used to. It still has a nice grilled flavor. The fact that it's topped with so many nice fresh ingredients really elevates the taco. And if you're really craving tacos, I would say these ones would hit the spot. I would give them an eight out of 10. 
not amazing, but still pretty damn good. Take a bite of that. You'll love it. All right, you guys, it's on to the next plate. I'm starting to get worried because I am getting full. We are not even halfway down the buffet yet, and we haven't even made it to the meat section. I think we're there now. Pray for me. Thank you. Oh yeah, bring it, baby. Prime rib tri-tip brisket. Thank you. This plate is looking extra scrumptious. Get in here and check this thing out. Okay, right here, we got the prime rib. This right here is the tri-tip. This is the beef brisket. We got the wonderful pork loin and the chicken apple sausage. And I had to throw the grilled onion and a little piece of bok choy on the plate just to get a little bit of veg. Let's dive into this meat fest. Holy, we're gonna start with the prime rib. I hit the prime rib and the tri-tip with a little bit of au jus recommended by the slicer, butcher, butcher slicer. Yeah, the meat master. You know what I mean? Who doesn't love a meat master? Prime rib cuts nicely. Uh, he asked how I wanted it. I said medium, not too rare. And this is what we ended up with. Perfect. Mm. Let's go, Win. As far as prime rib goes, perfect. I hit it with a little au jus, super tender, wonderful flavor. Now let's dive into this tri-tip. The tri-tip looks great. Look at this thing. Wow. I tend to cook up some tri-tip every time I barbecue. I'm really excited to try this. It's got a nice crust on the outside and it's cooked perfectly. Oh, and it tastes perfectly. The tri-tip is excellent. 12 out of 10, I highly recommend the tri-tip. You're gonna love this. Oh, so tender. Wow, really good. All right, pork loin, cooked well. Nice little ring of fat going around here. Mmm, wow. It has a lovely seasoning. I don't know what it's topped with, but it definitely adds a wonderful flavor to the pork. But that little bit of seasoning or coating that they had on top really added to the flavor. So far, the meat station, knocking it out of the park. Okay, now it's time for the beef brisket. Look at this thing. Extra briskety. It's got the nice crust on the outside. I did not put no au jus on the beef brisket. I mean, look at that. Super juicy. Mm. Wow. Holy. It's got some type of marinade on it. Woo! Great brisket flavor. It kind of tastes like beef jerky. Super tender, very soft. But whatever marinade they got in there, it's kind of like a teriyaki marinade. The beef brisket tastes a little bit like beef jerky. If you really are going after that hardcore brisket flavor, it might not be for you. But if you like it spiced up with a little bit of marinade, this thing, delicious. All right chicken apple sausage i gotta throw some bok choy in there and get some greens in with my meat mm, grilled bok choy the chicken apple sausage also has a chicken apple gravy right next to it i gave it a little douse on top let's see how this puppy tastes okay Mm. It's a little sweet. You can definitely taste like the smoky apple pork flavor for a chicken apple sausage. Pretty good. If you love sausage, you're going to love that. I'm going to go ahead and run through the rest of these meats, find some way to make extra room in my stomach, and move on to the next plate. Whew. 
it's like a marathon in here. Okay, I had to get a piece of the pepper bacon, but I am running out of time, so I'm gonna skip some of the ribs. I'm gonna get a little bit of the chicharron because I gotta try it, but we gotta move on to the seafood before they kick us out of this joint. There is a time limit. Oh yeah, look at that crispy pork. Wow. Okay, on the next plate, woo, we're getting full. We gotta make some room for this stuff. For the next plate, I had to get some of the pizza because no buffet is complete without some pizza. Which one is this? Caprese. We decided to go with the Caprese pizza. We got two pieces of chicharron, the peppered bacon, and a chicharron bacon grits. Let's get into a little chicharron first. I love some chicharrones, and these ones do not disappoint. Delicious. Peppered bacon? This might be the thickest piece of bacon I've ever seen. Smells incredible. Oh yeah. It's like peppered ham. Strong pork flavor, very peppery, but I would recommend it. Thank you, Joseph. Caprese pizza. This thing looks great. They had a bunch of other traditional slices, but this one looked extra delicious. Oh yeah. I don't know what that glaze is. It's a little sweet. It has some strong like Italian seasoning in there. Very well balanced. And uh, yeah, for buffet pizza, it's delicious. Crispy crust, really well put together, and a wonderful flavor. I can't complain. All right, chicharron grits. We're just gonna get in there and take the whole thing. Hello. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. The pork, extra porky. The grits are a little salty. The pork's got a great flavor, even though it's strong, but it's pretty dry. It's like stringy, really dry. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but the flavor is maximum. And the texture of the pork is a little wonky. I'm not really a huge fan of that. I probably would not get that if I came back. It's tasty, but there are much better items to choose from. Okay, next up, one of my favorite things in any great buffet, snow crab. I wanted to get a little bit, but your boy just can't hold back. The snow crab is where I make my money when PK goes to a buffet, and the win is no exception. Two plates of snow crab, fresh hot butter. Let's dive in. It's about to get real. We'll start off with a wonderful claw right here. Boom, okay. Execution, flawless. We're gonna go no butter. Mm. Now I definitely do not mind the chill, but if my seafood is hot, your boy is ready to rock. Delicious. All right, let's work our way around this puppy. Look at that. Let's get out this little bit of meat. We waste no meat when it comes to the seafood. Okay. Voila, it's like a magic trick. Let's hit it with a little bit of butter. It's like a chicken nugget of the sea, but so much better. Oh. Sweet, delicious, decadent, and the butter, it's an absolute must. The crab is amazing, you guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Really sweet flavor. 
that give everything a pre-cut here. It makes the breaking into it so much easier. I mean, look at that. Little to no effort, no crab claws needed. Mm. And a flavor to write home about. Snow crab is definitely one of my favorites. All right, let's get into some of the legs. So if you don't know how to disassemble a crab, there's many different ways. Sometimes you can get the top meat, sometimes you can't. But your main focus is this bottom piece right here. You're gonna disassemble, break it right down the middle, and then pull very gently. See, you don't wanna rip it too much. Because if you do, you gotta re-break and go in again. Woo, no butter. That's how you do it right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna enjoy these two plates of crab and I'm gonna tear through them like an absolute hurricane. And then we're gonna move on to see what's next. We went from two plates of crab to two plates of shells. If I had more time, I'd eat about six more of these puppies, but we're starting to hit our limit and we haven't even hit the dessert yet. After stuffing our face with all that amazing food, it's time to dive into these amazing desserts. Honestly, it's overwhelming. They have an insane amount of options and it is about to get sweet. All right, you guys, it is dessert time. We got the strawberry cheesecake, raspberry cheesecake? Strawberry. Strawberry cheesecake, triple mousse chocolate cake. We got this awesome looking maple glaze win donut, mint chocolate cup berry cheesecake with the blackberry on top. They look amazing. All right, first, I gotta try the win donut. Texture feels nice. It's got like these golden pearls on it. Very cool looking. <laughs> oh yeah. I love donuts. It's an excellent donut. It's not as like fresh, light, and fluffy as I would have hoped for for a 10 out of 10 donut. But for a buffet donut, it's a solid eight out of 10. Great flavor. It's not stale or crispy by any means but I do wish it was a tiny bit fluffier, but for a buffet, it will suffice. We're just kind of late too. Yeah, we're here at closing. This is yeah. the end of the day. <laughs> when they put this row of donuts out, they were like, that's it. No more hitting the shelf. <laughs> Take it or leave it. We ain't refilling the trays. <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake. No yeah, strawberry cheesecake, no added sugar. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might know that cheesecake is my ultimate favorite dessert. It really gets me going. Love some fresh cheesecake. I mean, cheesecake is just so damn good. Thank you, Joseph. Our server tonight was Joseph. The staff here is amazing. They absolutely killed it. Shout out to the staff. Mm. It's delicious. What can I say? I love cheesecake. I'm biased. Excellent cheesecake. Nine out of ten. Okay. Triple chocolate mousse. It's time to get loose. Oh, All right. Look at this thing. Wow. Yeah, all of their desserts look like a showcase, like an absolute pastry chef masterpiece. Very impressive though. When you walk across to the dessert section, it's like stunning how beautiful everything looks. All right. Mm. I mean, damn. Triple chocolate mousse cake says it to perfection. 
It is like three layers of stacked chocolate mousse, the most buttery pillow soft cake you have ever had. Triple chocolate mousse cake. Wow. Super fluffy, super flavorful. Wow. It's like chocolate air. Mmm. Chocolate mint cup? Yeah. How pretty is this thing? Holy <laughs> That was a bad idea. Ugh. Way too minty. I am not a mint chocolate person at all. To go from the rich delicacy of the triple chocolate mousse to the dark chocolate mint. The contrast was too much. It took me by surprise and it damn near locked up my throat. Wow. If you love like chocolate mint candies or those Andes or anything like this, which I absolutely do not, you will love the chocolate mint cup. It is exactly that. Massive chocolate, massive mint. Miss Chaos tends to like this flavor. Incredible mint flavor. You like the peppermint patties. The chocolate mint ice cream is one of our favorites at home. PK likes the vanilla. We like the mint chocolate. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Love it? Love it. If you like that type of flavor, Miss K says it's a go. Berry cheesecake. Looks incredible. Fresh blackberry on top. Looks like it's got a jelly. Yeah. Not only is like that red topping on top quite tangy, jelly, jelly <laughs> whatever. It is quite tangy and very berry esque. Yeah, the blackberry is also very tart. This thing is packed full of flavor, and if you like cheesecake, you're gonna love this thing. One more round of desserts. You got an energy pack? One more round of desserts? Yeah. I've eaten six pounds of food. Where are we going to stuff it? With the other two plates in the back. Oh, help me, God. <laughs> I mean, I'm down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Win buffet. Let's go. Let's get it. I literally don't even know what's happening at this point. I am entering food coma zone. I am literally blacking out. Another round of dessert. How Miss K talked me into it, I will literally never know. I'm already feeling pretty rough. Okay, we got some chocolate gelato. They have, they have, we got some coffee gelato. Yeah, I said chocolate because I'm blacking out. Okay, chocolate gelato and sorbets. Coffee, coffee. I don't know what's happening at this point, okay? They're closing down. I've done ate everything in the building. Your boy's getting dizzy. Coffee, coffee yeah. gelato, okay? Okay, we're forking it? Yeah. Okay, who doesn't eat ice cream with forks? Mmm. Wow. It's almost like a coffee butter pecan. It's got a wonderful coffee flavor, but it's got a little esque of butter pecan in there. Super smooth gelato, absolutely delicious. Get it out of my face. I can't even look at this plate. I mean, holy bro. Yeah. All right, take it down one by one. Come on, PK. What? Okay. Red velvet cake. Okay. Beautiful little flavor. Beautiful little design. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Help me. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, just, oh. <laughs> We're going to get it down. Okay. Little bites. Little bites. I tried to tell PK when he was getting the That's plate not red velvet. small, okay? He was gung-ho the first four plates. I don't do small plates. Oh, okay. 
We do it big around here. It's a buffet. I'm eating it all. I don't care if it kills me or I throw up. I don't know what this is. It's berry cream chart. It's a lemon tart. It doesn't look lemon. It's purple. It's got a blackberry. It's got some pie crust on here. Honestly, it feels like death. Okay. Mm. It's delicious. It's lemon. 100% lemon. It's so lemony. I mean, if you like lemon, you'll love this. Oh my God, that is pushing me to limits I didn't even know I could reach. Damn, it is sour, it is bitter, it is extra lemony. If you're a fan of lemon, you are gonna love it. For all my lemon lovers out there, delicious. It tastes just like a lemon meringue pie. There you go. All right, next. There's a next. Cookies and cream. I mean, it, if that's not the cutest looking Oreo you've ever seen, tiny little Oreo. Okay. Yeah. Cookies and cream. Looks delicious. Mmm. It is delicious. I mean, at this point, if I can swallow it, it's a 15 out of 10. Really good. Cookie and cream flavor. Tiny little Oreo. Mmm. Really good. Nice. Get it out of my face. Oh my God. It's the black cake of death. It feels heavy. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Look how marbly and shiny that top is. Wow, I can't remember what it's called. It's chocolate something, okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was beautiful. <laughs> is is no more. Silky smooth, great like dark chocolate flavor. Mmm. Okay. Very soft, excellent. If I wasn't super full, I could live in this thing, but as far as it stands now, get it away from me. Excellent, whatever that thing is, delicious. Miss Chaos have the crepe. So if you love crepes, they have a fresh made crepe station. All right, what'd you think about it? Uh, amazing, 20 out of 10. Super light, super airy. The berries were very fresh. The whipped cream was homemade. She made it right in front of me and it was absolutely delicious. The Nutella um, was warm and divine. I'm so full and I still took down that entire crate. Miss K gives it a full approval. Last dessert. Okay, we got this cool looking ice cream thing. I'm gonna slide it out. Like a raspberry chocolate cone. Sure. Raspberry chocolate cone. <laughs> Just, what's happening? Hello? It looks delicious. Cheers. Very good? Very strong strawberry or raspberry, raspberry flavor. Raspberry flavor. It is a little ice cream cone, completely wrapped in chocolate and the filling is separate. It's topped off with a raspberry, like really light and airy filling. Ooh. Slightly lemony. Okay. Not the way I wanted to end this. It's like a raspberry lemon meringue cone. Overall delicious. If I had this about half hour ago, I'd love it. But as for now, get it away from me. All right, you guys, we ate everything here at the Wynn Buffet. We are some of the last people in the building. The Seafood Spectacular and Massive Dessert Run is finally finished. First, let me talk about the decor and decorations. This place is beautiful, stunning environment. Everything is a light mint green, white, red, orange. Beautiful place. The ambiance in here is wonderful. It's definitely a great place to have a meal. As for the price, it was $74.99. I was under the impression it was a little bit more than that, but only 75 bucks. Considering the amount of options that you have and how good everything was, I would say 75 bucks is an absolute steal. And that might make the Win Buffet 
the number one buffet in Las Vegas. So far for the price, decor, including the selection of food and desserts, let's not forget about the service. The staff is running around in such an organized and dedicated fashion. Big shout out to the staff here at the Win Buffet, from the people serving the tables to the people serving the food. The staff was an absolute 10 out of 10. For 75 bucks, this is by far the best buffet that we have ever been to. I'm beyond stuffed. Oh, is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. Finish that No. Huh? I'm not finishing any of this, okay? I'm, oh my God, bro. <laughs> Shut it down. This woman is crazy. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, a like is much appreciated. If you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna go on a seven mile run, and like always, I'll see you in Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Who doesn't love a meat master? Coffee, gelato. Coffee, coffee. Give me some coffee, right? <laughs> I don't care if it kills me or I throw up. While we're diving into raw fish, <laughs> okay? Don't smell it first. Oh! Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Oh, help me, God! <laughs> I literally don't even know what's happening at this point. We do it big around here. It's a buffet. I'm eating it all. I mean, I feel like a ninja right now. All right, I'm gonna lick this clean plate. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> all right, take it down one by one. Come on, PK. Oh, just, oh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's very clean chart. Because it's amazing. Someone's got to burn off these calories. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the Win Buffet. I love you guys to death. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Shut it down. We'll just reshoot the whole thing, okay? It's like a chicken nugget of the sea, but so much better. Oh.